Hi guys, today Chris will do break on Toyota Corolla 2005. This is what he bought, it's called Dashboard Ceramic Brake Pads. And this is the car. This is mechanic Chris. <laughs> Hello, we're going to do the front brake pads on Anna's Toyota. Uh, although brakes don't have as much asbestos as they used to, it's still a good idea to wear safety equipment. So I've got some nitro gloves and a dust mask and of course some um, eye protection. And I'm going to be a little lazy and take the wheels off with an air wrench. First thing is to get the hot gaps off. Good driver in here. Prime them out a little bit, pretty easy to do. And then we'll jack the car up. And now I'll just pull the wheel off pretty quickly. It's going to get a little bit noisy here. And there we go. Next up is to pull these pads out, the ones that are in here. Make sure the car is cold when you do this. These brakes get very hot when they're in use. You can easily burn yourself pretty badly. Okay, so these calipers are one piece caliper with the hydraulics in from one side. So this caliper doesn't have openings in the back to pull the pad out through like a lot do. So we're gonna have to pull the caliper off the car. As we push the brake calipers back to make room for the thicker pads, that's going to push fluid back up into the reservoir. So we want to make sure that we're not so high that this is going to overflow. So we'll have to watch this as we push the pads, the old pads back to make room for the new ones. Okay, to pull the calipers off, I'm going to use a torque wrench and I'm going to gradually increase the torque as I try to loosen the bolts. So that'll give you an idea of how tight they are to begin with because we want to make sure we put it back on at about the same torque. Okay, these were on somewhere between 90 and 100 pound-feet of torque. So when we put the caliper bolts back on, we'll make sure to put them on at least 90 pound-feet of torque. And I need an extension for the top. Uh, now we're just going to finish taking off the calipers. And there's the top bolt out. And the bottom bolt. Now we're going to get a jack stand to hold the weight of the caliper because when we pull it away from the wheel we don't want it to be hanging on the hose here and put any stress on this hydraulic hose. So why don't you just come away and we'll set it there. And now you can see the old pads here. You see the material is getting kind of thin. So we'll put some new pads on. And there's the inside, pretty thin. And it has some metal clips on the back. We'll make sure and save those to reuse them. And these we can throw away. This is the brake with instruction. 
Mm -hmm. Both new clips, not to scar, here are the clips. And the instructions about how to use them. And you can see the thickness of the new pads compared to the old ones. Same shape and size, good. And the new ones actually already have a backing plate on them, so that's good. We don't need to save the old ones after. Okay, so on a single-sided piston caliper, this bracket holds the shoes, I'm sorry, the pads. And this is uh, free to move, so we pushed the piston back in a little bit and made sure that these are, are not being bound up. Now we're gonna take out these clips here, top and bottom, because new ones were supplied. Let's see here. There we go. Difficult to get those out. There we go. Okay, that's a little bracket clip that holds the new pads in place, and we have new ones who were provided with the new pads. Okay, the new clips are in here, and now we're going to just put the new pads in. We'll just slide those into the clips. There's one. And we'll put the other one on this side. Okay, so we put these new uh, channel clips in the calipers. Put the new pads in and push them back far enough to clear over this disc. And now we're going to just inspect this real quickly to make sure that we haven't put any little stress cracks in it or anything. It looks good. And just slip that over the disc. If it doesn't go over the disc, you may need to push the pads back in a little bit further to make room. And now we're just going to put our caliper bolts back in. get it started but not tighten it up because we want to be able to move this a little bit as we put the bottom one in. Okay and these look good and there's the pads on. Now we're going to torque them down. Recall that they were on at 90 to 100 pounds. So I'm going to set this for 95. And torque them back on. Bottom one, and I need an extension for the top. There we 
we go, 95 pounds. And that's it. There you go, we'll do the other one. Then we'll put the wheels back on the car, see how it goes. And they just make sure that these are also on at 90 pounds. And we'll just tighten them in a star pattern. As we just go around, make sure they're all up to torque. And then just go once more time around quickly. Make sure they're all torqued down. Here we go. Hub cap back on. Line up this notch with the stem. Okay, we'll do the other side. That's how you change brake on Toyota Corolla 2005.